So I'm not sure if you guys are aware, but we finally got some updated pictures on the rumoured um, Travis Scott sneakers that are due to be coming out very soon. They're called, they're a Jordan. So it's a Jordan collaboration, very interesting. Instead of him doing a retro model that he's already done before, he decided to make a completely new model. So from the ground up, a completely new model has been made. And he debuted them in the best way possible by standing on top of some of his sick cars that he has all wrapped in brown and looking fucking cool and shit. And he had a picture of the shoe as he's wearing them that you can see here. If you zoom in a little bit, it's got a bit of a strap on it. You see the bit of a swoosh. But the next picture here shows off the shoe a little bit better so you can get a little bit more of an idea on what they look like. And I have to be honest, I really like the look of them. I really like the look of them. They kind of look like to me, like one of the better options for me to wear a CrossFit shoe. Because at the moment, the CrossFit Metcons that they have at the moment, which is the, you know, the the official Nike CrossFit shoe or cross training shoe, I've not really been liking the new iterations of the Metcon. I think the last Metcon I bought brand new might have been like a Metcon three or four or something every i think now they're up to maybe over 10 and so far the designs are just getting progressively progressively worse they're not great to look at or even to wear this looks fucking shit so i'm always trying to find an option to wear of a shoe that isn't maybe a conventional training shoe but could be adopted as such and i think this might be a good option there's not a lot of flex in the shoe, um, you know, in terms of running and whatnot. But in terms of just doing some, you know, some classic, you know, cross training workouts, especially having a shoe that has a bit of a zero drop. There's not like a crazy heel on them. I think these might work as good gym shoes, especially with this four foot strap here where you can kind of, you know, tighten them on your feet a little bit and have, you know, your feet be a bit snug. So not moving around the place all over the place and shit. I think these might end up working, but I actually do just like the look of them in general. If I'm looking at them, I'd say they kind of remind me of a mix between like um, a Harachi trainer with the strap, maybe a Speridon, and then I'm not too sure about the rest of it. But I think the, the first two would definitely be the Nike Air Harachi trainer. I'm not too sure if you guys know this one. It's got the strap on the top. I remember we used to wear them back in the day um, when I was into sneakers super heavy. Uh, it's the one with the strap. It's if where's it actually called? That's the one there. It's called the Air Hirachi Trainer. And so that we'd wear it for at school as well in all black. So it's this particular model as you see here, that one there in a the grey. So that new Travis shoe kind of reminds me of that with the strap. It kind of looks similar to that with the strap on it. I think so. Uh, whereas I think it's this one, right? Was it? Yeah, that one. So it kind of looks a little bit like that with the strap, as you can see there. And again, as you can see with this one there, there's a bit of the strap there. And then it also looks a little bit like the Nike Speridon. I think. It's the OG one I'm talking about. The OG Speridon. There we go. Yeah, this particular Speridon. Um, what's it called? It's called the Air Zoom Speridon. So that Travis kind of reminds me a little bit, especially the sole. I think that sole is a Speridon sole, to be fair. I pr I'm pretty sure it is. It looks very similar to a Speridon sole anyway. I'm pretty sure that Travis Scott shoe is a Speridon sole. Let me just double check here, but I'm pretty sure that sole is definitely the same as this, isn't it? I'm sure. Yeah, it is. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, there I've got the even tab here. There you go. It's a, yeah, it's a Speridon. It's 100% a Speridon sole that's been kind of, you know, re-adapted onto the top of that, um, <clears throat> of that new Travis Scott shoe. So I'm looking forward to seeing them when they drop. We have no idea on the release date. We've seen a lot of colorways of him wearing them in different colorways, actually. Let's see if I can get another picture up. There's actually another colorway of shoe, of Jordan, of this shoe from Travis coming out that I've seen that I've not really liked. I think I've liked this colorway the best. This is kind of like a white with the Travis Scott signature brown on the swoosh and on the midsole. But I've seen a few other colorways pop up on my timeline that made me, you know, kind of got me intrigued, kind of sparked my interest when it comes to a lot of this. I'm not going to lie. Uh... Where is it? Can I see it? Nope, nope. We've got Jocelyn videos. We've got Bjork here, I think. Some white guy with glasses. We've got some food thing. I don't see a lot of Travis here. Maybe I should have wrote Travis Scott cut the check on there too. Let's, let's write that. Maybe I could get that up on the screen. Or maybe I can get that up to describe. Bear with me a sec. I think I wrote Travis Scott cut the check. Let's see it here. Let's see it. 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 Oh, no, I don't want that. I don't want Master Jedi. Who the fuck is Master Jedi? I don't know who Master Jedi is. Let's not go back to that person. I want to just, just, let's let me, 
the Twitter search is a bit weird as well, isn't it? Travis Scott. There you go, cut the check. That's all I want. Just give me that. Let's see if we've got the other colorways I can see here because I remember seeing a couple other ones that I actually liked the look of. Yeah, so we've got this black one. Again, I don't think that's a cut the check thing. I think that's just like a maybe a sample. He's kind of um trialing. Or wearing out, test wearing and shit. It looks like a it looks like a low version of a Jordan Five with a backward swoosh on one of the shoes. That's what it looks like. Um, but there's yeah, there, here's a, here's the other colorway. You've got this colorway here. It's like a white, black with a yellow. Um, of course, you've got that original one that I was trying to show you. See if we see any more here. We've got original. Yeah, that, that's the colorway I should, that I was I'm I'm talking about here. It looks like a. It looks like a flight trainer or something, right? It's like white with yellow bits and stuff. I kind of like the look of that. And there's also, a, oh, is that, oh, it's the same pair. I thought it was a all yellow pair. So he's wearing those. Let's see if there's any more colorways. There's also this colorway here that I like. It comes in a white with black with the, you know, swoosh backwards. That's pretty decent as well, the white colorway. And like the bit of the white outsole here, that looks pretty nice also. And the big thick strap that you could see on the model which one not this one there so it's the same strap there you can see it and i think that might be it in terms of color so so far we've got three right? we've got this we've got the brown we've got the we've got this white and black one and i think that might be it in terms of color is the other one yeah that might be it only the three colors so far we've seen but i'm so eager to see what they look like in hand hopefully we get a black pair i'd wear those instantly of course and then we uh, there we go that's that's a better picture of the of them actually um there you can see them to cut the check shoes. So I'm actually curious to see what he does as going forward because it's quite cool that he's deciding to take this risk because he could have easily put out a Jordan 4, another Jordan 1, put out a 6, a 7, and 8, and people would have lapped it up. They would have sold out in record time. They'd be going for hundreds of dollars, if not thousands, or StockX. He could have easily taken that easy risk and did that but he didn't he tested himself and pushed himself and stuff him and his team and works on an entirely new model they built from the ground up and you know perfect i like it i'm not i'm not mad at it to be fair this particular model doesn't look like it's got a spirit on solder that's the only interesting bit so i wonder if all these are like samples that he's been wearing just to kind of wear test but this outsole doesn't look on midsole doesn't look very similar to the speridon esque sole that we have here on this particular model so maybe this might be the final one or it's part of the test valuation phase of the shoe and shit but either way this is a very different outsole and, and, and midsole to the other ones that we've seen so far but can't wait to see more when they do eventually drop uh big ass travis scott hopefully they drop very soon hopefully there's no party or festival tied with them because you know what goes down with him when he does those type of things over there in the states so we can only hope and pray we can only hope and pray